coach. I left behind everything in my home country of Spain, where I am clearly from, so I could train with you on the long shot chance that I could make it to the NBA. Don't worry, I got a meticulously planned out procedure to get you there. So what do we do first? Do you want me to run up a hill as fast as I can, or maybe shoot some free throws while you're insulting my mother? We'll do all that later, but first, I want you to memorize all these basketball plays. There's like a hundred plays in here, 127 to be exact. So memorize those perfectly and then we will hit the court. Hustle, okay? Maybe I should forget basketball and just become a real estate agent. <music> Chef, for you today I've prepared a pan seared salmon with gnocchi and vodka sauce. It's me on a plate. Sounds like it should be good. Now let's try it. Like it. Chef is gonna love this dish. I put my heart and soul into it. This dish represents everything about my life and my identity and my heritage and my hopes and my dreams and my... It's pretty bland? Yeah, I could really use just like some salt or something. I know that you put yourself on a plate, which is really nice. I love that. But the thing is, people have to eat this. But you tried your best. Good job. I put my heart on that plate and Chef said it needed salt. Well, guess what? I'm salty now! I didn't want to be rude, but what I'm looking for when I'm tasting a dish is something that makes me want to get out of bed at 3 a.m. and go to the refrigerator and eat the leftovers. And honestly, I would feel bad feeding those leftovers to my cat. And my cat loves pan-seared salmon with gnocchi and vodka sauce. Ah, uh, Tiffany, what is up with your outfit, girl? It is an affront to my eyes. Are you colorblind? Yeah, it's statistically unlikely that you are because you're female, but you could be one of the one in 200. Yeah. Yeah, like, take a look at this chart. Can you even read the number in the middle? Where did you get that? Because if you can't, it means you're colorblind and you should probably go talk to your primary doctor because I'm not a real doctor yet. Okay, this is... This is getting weird. Hey, and while we're here, why don't you read line six of this chart? Cause maybe you're nearsighted too and you should see an ophthalmologist. This is the first one like an F? You, you wanted to see me, sir? Yes, my computer is all frozen up and I can't get it to work. You're gonna need to fix it, IT guy. Yes, sir? <laughs> Look, I may be your boss with the ultimate power to fire you, but there's no need to call me sir. Just call me boss. Okay, boss, uh, let, let's see. Well, that seems to have fixed it. Yeah. So what did you do exactly? I uh, executed a power cycle. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a complicated procedure, but it gets results. Now you're talking my language. You know what? I think you deserve a raise. Wow. Thank you. We can't let a man with your skills get away. Well, you know. Okay, now get out of here. Okay, goodbye. Hmm, let me Google that. Power cycling is the act of turning a piece of equipment, usually a computer, off and then on again. <laughs> so your new album is out and there are some very emotional songs on there. You really must have been going through some painful stuff when you were writing those songs. Well... Tell the world right now all the trauma that you went through in order to create such an intense album. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a breakup or a breakdown or maybe all your friends abandoned you because they said you're too overbearing and you expect too much out of them even though you're a great friend who's always there when they need me. I mean, need you! No, I just felt like writing sad songs. So, you were depressed? No, not really. Okay, now let's uh, move on to the portion of the show where we sing songs in the car. Oh, great. Okay, we got a birthday at table 17, let's go. Let's go what? We gotta sing happy birthday, duh, come on. We gotta sing? I don't wanna sing. Do I look like I wanna sing? No, of course I don't, but we gotta. I refuse. Uh, you can't. Watch me. It's restaurant policy. Check out the employee handbook, page 27, paragraph two. All servers on the floor must sing happy birthday to any customer who says it's their birthday, regardless of whether the customer wants it or not. No one even likes a bunch of servers closing in around them and singing happy birthday. Okay, if you don't sing with us right now, I will fire you. You'll fire me? Look, if I can't count on you to sing an off-key and half-hearted version of Happy Birthday with the rest of your team to a 23-year-old customer who's so embarrassed that she can't make eye contact with any of us, then how am I supposed to count on you when the stakes are high and the chips are down? And by that, I literally mean when the steak fajitas are overcooked and we're running low on tortilla chips. <sighs> Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. 
Mr. President, you're supposed to give your speech in 10 minutes. Oh crap, I forgot. I was too busy trolling people in YouTube comments. Okay, have you read over the speech yet? I gave it to you hours ago. These rigidly structured speeches are so limiting, it's much more interesting when I'm just talking off the top of my dome. Wow, I am your speechwriter. This is what you pay me for, so forget the dome and just read it. Great, I'll just read the words in front of me like a mindless robot. Robot president here, here to deliver a speech. This speech is expertly crafted, so if you read it just how I wrote it, I predict that your ratings will go up 7.4%, plus it is a very sensitive topic, so it would be best if you just stuck to the plan. Okay, fine, but if I think of a good point while I'm reading this, I am going off script. Mr. President, no, remember what happened when you went off script the other day? Of course I do. Someone asked me a stupid question at the press conference, and so I called him a doofus with a room temperature IQ. We were at an elementary school. He was six years old. I can't help but let dumb people People know that they are dumb. And that's why you lost your Twitter privileges. Okay, okay, I'll read it. Gosh, for being the most powerful person in the country, I sure get told what to do a lot. Ladies and gentlemen. I got a lot to tell you dumb people about race in America. Uh, here's a different job. Okay, Harris, look, we all know that you were involved with the robbery on June 15th, so cut the crap and tell us who you're working with. I told you everything I know. Harris, your story is so full of holes that if I had some bread and some ham and some pickles and some mustard, I could make myself a delicious Cuban sandwich. But guess what? This isn't a delicatessen and I can't eat ham because I keep kosher. So all we're left with is your pitiful excuse for an alibi. Yo, why does she keep staring at me like that? Because Detective LeMayhew is reading you like a book, Harris. She's reading you like your frickin' Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, okay? So you better start naming names or she's gonna ring it out of you. And the longer you take to do this, the more paperwork I gotta do, so hurry up! I got nothing to say. Think of a number between one and 10. What? It's three, right? How? How did you know? Think of a color. No! Yellow. Interesting. This is freaking me out, man. I told you to come clean player, but now we're doing it the hard way. Who are you working with, Harris? No! Stop reading my mind! Ah, Timmy Talamantes! <laughs> That's who I'm working with. Timmy Talamantes. <laughs> Just stop. See? You feel better now, don't you? Just get her away from me. She's a freak! You know, Harris, I can't really read minds. Huh? I knew you were thinking of the color yellow because I had Detective Steinberg here mention mustard. What? And everyone knows to make a proper Cuban, you need yellow mustard. And I knew you were thinking of the number three because I told Detective Steinberg to mention Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The third and perhaps best book in the Harry Potter book series. You played me. Hey, don't hate the player. Hate the game.